take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. There are many conditions that could cause blood in the stool, but the most common ones are hemorrhoids and anal fissures, small tears in the lining of the anus. Other common causes of bleeding in the lower part of your GI tract include ulcers, colon cancer.11 August 2020. Take our lead. There are several likely causes of mild rectal bleeding that does not require treatment, such as temporary constipation or hemorrhoids, as well as dehydration, which can result in hard stools that injure the anus or rectum while passing. In most cases, the bleeding stops once the underlying cause has been resolved. Let's help you make your mark. Depending on the cause, however, treatment may involve simple things you can do on your own. These including eating a high-fiber diet to relieve constipation that can cause and aggravate hemorrhoids and anal fissures, and taking a sitz bath, which means sitting in warm water to relieve fissures and hemorrhoids.11 November 2019. Let's help you make your mark. When to see a doctor severe, chronic, or painful rectal bleeding may be a sign of a more serious underlying condition and should be assessed by a doctor. People normally notice rectal bleeding when they see streaks or drips of blood in their stool, the toilet bowl, or when wiping. Let's help you make your mark. If you are experiencing bloody stools or bleeding from a bowel movement, you may need to see a doctor. Seek immediate medical attention if you are experiencing fever, excessive weakness, vomiting, or seeing large amounts of blood in your stool. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.